This will be a Shavasana relaxation practice and a bit of inquiry into happiness partway through. So take a moment to settle yourself, get yourself comfortable so that you can either lie on the floor in Shavasana or sit comfortably however you would like to do it. We always begin practice by tuning into the whole of our experience. The least subtle or most solid part of us is our physical bodies. So tune into the body. Notice how it is that you're situated in space. Notice the space that your body is occupying right now. Notice what feelings, sensations, what's going on with your muscles. Notice what's here in this space that your body occupies. If you're familiar with feeling in your body, you might go right to the habitual places where you quite often have tension or tightness. For a lot of people, that's the forehead or eyebrows. The jaw, the back of the neck, the shoulders. The chest area or the stomach. So in addition to the overall experience of what's happening in your body right now, notice those places, the forehead and eyebrows, the jaw, the neck, the shoulders. the chest and heart area, the stomach, solar plexus, lower belly. Part of what we notice is that our experience of our bodies and the sensations and energy and the state of the muscles, whether they're relaxed or contracted, that continually changes. If you bring your attention back to your forehead and eyebrows, notice the difference between now and when you first started. And notice that difference in the few seconds when you first bring your attention back into it. Maybe it's the back of the neck and the shoulders for you. Allow this deepening into the relaxation. When we're settled in Shavasana, we really don't need any muscular activation to hold ourselves in position. So it's a good opportunity to notice where we still have some kind of muscle activation. We can work with this through the day as well. If you tune into your forehead, quite often there's activation there and there really isn't ever any need when we're standing or sitting or walking or playing on the computer or driving or whatever it is we're doing. We never need to have the muscles of the forehead tensed up. So that just points to the habitual ways that we hold tension in our bodies. As we get to know the body and we get to know those spots and we go over and over bringing our attention into those places, they begin to develop the habit of relaxing. So this mindfulness practice of paying attention to the body has a big ripple effect. It's not just a muscle that might be tight. 
when we bring our attention to it, we can really notice what it feels like when we allow it to soften a bit and a bit more and a bit more. There are many other sensations and feelings in the body rather than just contracted muscles. We might also notice swallowing. We might notice some nerve pain somewhere. We might notice if the stomach is full or empty. And then there's this pure energy layer of our experience. There might be a warm pulsing in the throat. That sensation or type of sensation is different than the sensation of swallowing. One is more physical. One is more energetic. So bringing your whole attention back into your body again, this time on a more energy level, not really feelings in the sense of emotions, but more feelings in the sense of energy or sensation. There's the energy of the thought stream behind the forehead. And we all know the difference between a calmer thought stream and a more compulsive or grabbing one. There's a different feel to it. Come down through the rest of the head, the neck. Noticing any sensations or energy that comes to your attention. Down through your arms and hands. through the back of the body, the large muscles of the back, the large muscles of the front of the torso. And notice what's happening on that space in between those. If there's any kind of energy or sensation in the heart area, the heart center, stomach, lower belly, Notice that we're noticing this, we're watching. And as we're going through the different guided practices, if anything ever gets to feel overwhelming, please always give yourself permission to open your eyes or stop focusing on it for a moment. Some of the energy in the heart center and in the solar plexus, the stomach area, can feel kind of intense at times. Might be coming in with images or words. So if that's happening, note that it's happening and we'll come back to that another time. Right now we're just getting a feel for the energy in the body. We've come through everything through the top part of the body down into the torso and now come into the legs. Leave the breathing, leave the thought stream behind a bit and notice the energy in your legs, your feet, your toes. Notice if you can sense the energy in the soles of the feet. If your feet are connected with the floor or the earth, maybe even just through the heels, notice that connection. And then extend your awareness once again to your whole body. We're noticing the physical body, how we're situated, the space the body is occupying. Notice again the muscles, the forehead, jaw, the back of the neck, the shoulders, the chest, the stomach. Mm -hmm. 
Noticing the energy, the sensation in the body. Notice the thought stream specifically. Notice that there's some experience happening in thought, that the experiences that we have in the body and in the energy and also in thought are always changing. They're part of the manifest world that changes all the time. We can't really predict what our thoughts are going to be. We can't really predict if we're going to have a train of thought in the next 30 seconds or if it's going to be fairly quiet. And notice that you're observing the thought stream. And notice what it is that's observing the thought stream. There's some layer of the mind, some part of us that knows that we're thinking and that's watching the words and the images come up. Depending on if the image and words are neutral or positive or negative, there will be some kind of a response in the body. Perhaps muscles will release or muscles will contract. Maybe some kind of sensation will get more extreme or will show up someplace. This is part of the way we experience ourselves as humans. So there's nothing wrong with this whole process, this mechanism. And notice what it is that doesn't change. Notice the space your body is in the space your body is occupying from head to toes. And if you remember back to a time a few minutes ago or several hours ago or whatever it might be for you, when your body wasn't in this space, the space itself is not affected by whether or not your body is in it. The space was here before your body showed up and the space will be here after. And we experience ourselves in the space that the body is occupying or fairly close to the body. There might be energies that are not completely contained in the physical body. And then we also have other dimensions or layers of silence and stillness in the mind. That's also present even when there's thought in the mind. It's a whole different layer of the mind. There's this space that our experience is rising in. There's that physical space of the body and the awareness of where that space is and of what's in it. There's also that not manifest space of awareness in which all of this is taking place. And that that's not separate from your body or the experience of being in the body. It's all one. It's not an idea or a concept, although we might have ideas and concepts about it. And that's fine too. So let's bring in this inquiry into happiness. Notice what came through your mind as you heard that word happiness. The thought stream kind of activates. See if you can also maintain this awareness of the space of your being, your consciousness of that which never changes, that's not happy or unhappy. 
that dimension that's free from experience like that. Allowing the whole of it to be in awareness, the unchanging as well as the changing. And let's start by looking at these words, I am happy. When we're paying attention to words, we might be noticing the sound. There's the vibration of the sound as it comes into our ears. The mind makes meaning of it. And we can also see the words as though they're written out in our mind's eye. We can see shapes and fonts and colors. I am happy. We can see it as colorful Disney notes bouncing around. They might even have some movement. We could see it as black type on white background, kind of somber. It's all kinds of ways that we might see that in our mind's eye. So just noticing those words, I am happy. However it is that they're coming up for you, the sound and the visual representation of the sound. I am happy. Notice your body and the energy that might be generated by that, as well as the activity in the mind, the thought. I am not happy. Noticing where you might feel that in the body. Noticing what thoughts come in about that. Including that other word, I am not happy. I know this because You could work with I am happy or I am not happy, whichever one seems to have more energy. And look to see how it is that you know that that's the case. Is it words? Is it images? Look at the evidence for that, that belief. For me to be happy, I need. Just let that sentence and these sentences kind of drop into awareness. Not really trying to figure it out, more noticing what comes up as we pay attention to those words. It could come up as words or images or maybe sensation. For me to be happy, I need...
And this may be on a continuum. It might not be for me to be happy. It might be for me to be happier. Notice what comes up as you're considering the words. And if you've left or lost touch a little bit with your body, your physical body, tune back into your physical body and also to any energy that might be there. Notice the breath. Notice the experience in your body right now. And take note of anything that's changed or that's different. And then whatever experience of happiness or not happiness, wherever it is that you're experiencing that on the continuum right now, look to see if you can find that somewhere in your body. It might be I'm a three out of 10 on the scale of happiness right now. Can you find that in your body? physical body or the space in your body, the energy in your body. There's no right or wrong answers. There's no right or wrong way to do this. We're looking. Being aware of your whole physical body, of your energy, of the mind, and of the fact that you're observing what's arising and changing. Looking to see if this happiness is situated in your body somewhere. And then let go of the inquiry of the looking and notice once again your experience from head to toes. Bring your attention to your breath and notice your breath flowing in your nostrils. Focus for a moment on your left nostril, absorbing, paying attention to the flow of the breath in the left nostril. That coolness as we breathe in, the warmth as we breathe out. And letting your mind follow the flow of breath, switching now to the right nostril, eyebrow center to the base of the nose and back, letting your mind flow with the breath. Relaxing your forehead. And then following the flow of breath in both nostrils.
Notice the whole of your experience, including that which never changes. The space of awareness, the space in which this is arising. And take your time when you're ready, opening your eyes.